I have a geo system here flow center and that's how they did the loops so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start ripping all this out put a new system here make it look a lot better okay so basically I've removed everything we're gonna replace got to working on doing the D superheater stuff and uh, I was pulling the bottom part of this drain off and this is the importance of looking beyond what you're actually doing this unit is full of slag it has probably never been drained it's full of that white stuff you see there so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the water heater uh, just talked to the homeowner told him I did not want to hook up the D superheater the new D superheater with a unit like that um, extra thousand dollars on the job so if you're not looking you are missing out on extra work so we are going to restrap this real nicely rehang the pump over here somewhere and we're gonna get back to work I'm gonna cut out that water heater and get this stuff out of here alright so we got the water heater changed out cut DC super heater piped in got the return connected we need to make a transition for this we're gonna put a canvas to drop that down transition hang the flow center right there strapped up those pipes hang the flow center right there and uh, need to tie in that pace of return to the electrical drain line put the unit on pump ups in a pad because if you look down here the drain lines come underneath the old unit was on six by sixes so I'm getting really close put an expansion tank on the new water heater so we're getting really close um, it's the end of the day we'll come back tomorrow button all this up alright so I'm out of the flow center there it's a little far out but it makes it easy to do any kind of flushing that you need to um, mounted a little to the right so we're wrapping the pipes strapping them up now got the flush cart going got this is what I usually use to turn these so the flush uh, the flush flow center so there we go, got a literature rack on, got the return tied in. Made a transition. <laughs> We're getting there. Won't be long. I'll show you all our finished product. So, how you put together this geo piping, I'm not actually going to do it all the way for you, but if you look, these fittings don't even fit on here. You actually have to melt them together with this device. So you basically put this on one side. And hey, Nick, where are you going? And this on and this on the other side then you melt it and each pipe has its own time difference and this is one inch so this has a fit at 13 to 15 second you hold it on the oven pull it straight off and then you slide them straight on no twisting not got to be as straight as possible 
and it basically fuses the pipe together. Okay, what I was going to go over is this roar setup, the A tool. So you have the overview, go through system faults, no faults, the system's brand new, go through diagnosis, setup, that's where I'm going. Now you can set up, the, uh, there's a bunch to set up here, cooling airflow. See, so I'm just going to go to the ECM motor, so blower speed, this is how they have it set up. Let's go back, let's change it. So what I can do here, is this is the fan setting. I can set this wherever I want, okay, so that is fan for the thermostat. Now this is low stage cooling. Now I can set this wherever I want. This is high stage cooling. And that's auxiliary heat. Like I said, you can set any of these anywhere. Okay. Want to save changes? Yes, I do. It's hard to do this on the phone. Want to change now? Okay. So. You can check, set up the voltage, 240, well I'll show you, 240, 380, whatever you want. See, we're at 2, we're actually closer to 220, if you do fine adjustment, whatever, I'm not going to do that on the phone with you all, I'm not going to save any of these so I can just go through and do it. You can update model number, say if you change the board, whatever. Figure a word system. So, change units, yada yada. Alright, guys, show you what's happening here. That's my D superheater running. Okay. That's my D superheater. Now I'm gonna switch it over to these are my loops. out real close okay I like using my gauges for this this is basically the setup Joe is finishing putting up a couple straps we've insulated that pipe all right guys we are all done sorry I did not take too much time go over that Aurora board but uh maybe I'll do a whole video on it they they give an eight hour class so it's quite it's quite a class a lot to go over in 30 seconds but I kind of showed you the majority of what it does thanks for watching as always like comment subscribe Share with one of your friends. Thanks, guys. Bye.